Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Hello and welcome back to this channel. My name is Ruth and today is day seven of the 10 days of prayer. And today's topic is praying God's promises. So what does it mean to pray with promises? So point number one, praying with promises means that we take a Bible verse or a command and we pray it back to God. Point number two, we rely on him, you know, God, as he has promised us. So we take God's word and we have to rely on him because God's word is yes and amen. So as we're praying God's word, we have to allow God to guide us, to guide our prayers and to speak to us through his word. And dear friends, you know, we may come through times where we feel doubt, all of us have probably felt doubt, but because of the promises of God, we can point to those promises and claim them as God's personal guarantee. So if we go through doubt, we can go back to those promises and we can claim them as God's personal guarantee. So the result in praying with God's promises is that our hearts and minds will be filled with the scriptures and our faith will be strengthened and we would know God's mind as never before. And I just want to read a quote, just really seeing and showing the power of God's promises. It says, to blot the promises of God from the word will be like blotting the sun from the sky. God has placed the promises in his word to lead us to have faith in him. In these promises, he draws back the veil from eternity. So as we pray, you know, we are to pray in the name of Jesus. And in the book of John chapter 14, verse 14, it says, If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And another Bible verse that I really love when I'm praying and claiming the promises is 1 John chapter 5 verses 14 and 15. So we see that as we pray and as we claim the promises, we are to pray in the name of Jesus and that we are also to pray according to God's will. So 1 John chapter 5 verses 14 and 15 says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So this means that as we pray and as we claim the promises of God, we are to pray according to God's will. So that means that as we pray according to God's will, God answers at the very time we ask. So that doesn't mean that as we pray instantly, we're always going to see um, a visual explanation to our prayers or a visual answer to our prayers. We may not even feel anything within ourselves as the prayer has been answered, but we know that we are to go by faith and not feeling. So God has answered by faith because we have claimed the promises of God and that we will see by faith over time that these prayers have been answered. We would see them and we will be able to give thanks to God. And I just want to give you an example of this. So in day three, it was surrendering to God. And I told you that I was trying to overcome this certain habit. At that time when I surrendered this habit to God, I didn't feel anything but by faith God had answered my prayer and with time I knew that God had given me victory over that habit. So it's in the same way as we pray by faith and as we pray claiming the promises we may not always at that time see a virtual or a visual you know answer to our prayer but over time God will show us that he has surely answered our prayer. And that is something I'll really encourage us that as we pray, we must claim the promises of God. So if you're someone that you feel like your prayers haven't been answered, go back to pray um, with the word of God. For example, maybe take the words of Psalms. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Lord, I thank you because you are my Lord. You are my shepherd, I shall not want. Another verse in that chapter says, 
even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, are they comfort me. So pray according to God's word. Lord, I thank you because you're ever with me. Your rod and your staff will comfort me even in my darkest hour. It says in the word of God, you know, wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say unto the Lord. Lord, I thank you because even though I'm waiting to find a job, I want to know that you are with me. I thank you because you said that I should be of good courage and that you will strengthen my heart even in this time of waiting. So that, friends, is an example of how we can pray according to God's will. And God says, you know, Jesus, when he was on this earth, he said in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, he said, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive them and ye shall have them. So as God has said this to us, Jesus said this in the book of Mark, he said this to us, that as we pray, we must believe and we shall have them. So my question to you, friends, is are you praying the promises of God every day? Because when we pray according to God's promises, when we pray according to God's word, we will see that all heaven will be moved. So dear friends, if you have not prayed according to the promises of God before, I would like to challenge you today to start praying with the promises of God. Claim those promises because we will see that our prayers will be transformed. We will see answers in prayers and we will see that our hearts and minds will be knitted with the word of God. So as we end, I just want to read this quote, these number of quotes, which are a blessing to just see the power of God's promises. God is well pleased when they make the very highest demands upon him that they may glorify his name. They may exact large things if they have faith in his promises. Plead for the Holy Spirit. God stands back of every promise he has made. With your Bible in your hands, I have done as thou hast said, I present thy promise. Ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. So dear friends, we see there is a power in praying God's promises. So let us pray. Father, we thank you because in your word it says that you will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. So we believe because it says it in your word. We believe by faith that right now you are filling us with your Holy Spirit. Father, this is our desire. We pray that you'll please accomplish this in our lives because we cannot do it ourselves, but we need you to intervene. We thank you for the outpouring of your love. We thank you for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Thank you because by faith, we know that you have answered this prayer because it is according to your will. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So shalom and see you in the next video. Tomorrow is day eight and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Shalom. Are you praying the promises of God daily?